Opening weekend in volleyball continues with a pair of top 10 teams in Class 4A fighting it out right here at Prior Lake High School in the city of Savage. The number three team in the Class 4A preseason poll, the Eastridge Raptors, take on the number 10 team in the preseason poll, the Prior Lake Lakers. A bevy of Division I prospects headlines this matchup. Greetings, everyone. I'm Mike Feed, and I'll find myself talking to myself. That's Chaos Theory. These two teams are resuming what they call a volleyball edition of Friday Night Lights. Football doesn't start until next week, so with an open Friday on the schedule, Steve Anderson and Mike Dean, the head coaches of Eastridge and Prior Lake respectively, said let's put together a series that will help us figure out where we need to be to open the season. Eastridge hoping to even the series. The Raptors weren't able to play Prior Lake or any non-conference opponent due to scheduling policies amidst the pandemic. That's not an issue this year. The Raptors have loaded their non-conference slate. They start the season with Prior Lake. Other teams of note include Lakeville North and YZ Up. Eastridge and Egan figure to be the contenders in Section 3. Not much of a change compared to the three-class era. And leading the way are three Division I commits. Maria Chapman is going to St. Thomas. Cameron Greenwald will play at Montana State. And most of you may know the name Britt Carlson. She's going to Texas Tech, a standout volleyball and basketball player, played in the top club in both sports. Britt Carlson, the player to watch, but this Eastridge team is loaded, and they have been for years. They ran through the tables in the Suburban East a year ago, did not drop a set. We'll see how long that streak holds up. For the Prior Lake Lakers, not as many seniors have decided their college commitments, but they do have a future Golden Gopher in Julia Hansen. And if you know anything about Minnesota volleyball, they are one of the perennials in NCAA Division I. Mike Dean says it's an experienced group. He's excited to see what this game will bring. Of course, Prior Lake, a member of the South Suburban Conference, which Mike Dean believes is the toughest when it comes to volleyball. You've got the Lakeville schools, Shakopee and Egan, Prior Lake in there. In fact, all five of them made the preseason ranking in Class 4A. So he's excited to see what the resumption of this Friday Night Lights volleyball rivalry with Eastridge will bring. And as we say, there's no better way to learn about yourself than starting the season with a high caliber opponent. We'll bring you the matchup in a moment. This is High School Girls Volleyball. Twin City Sports Broadcasting and a whole lot more. That's what you get from TSB Television. We provide long lasting digital coverage of your favorite athletes from the preps to the pros. Dazzling moves. Holloman, good if it goes. Yes! Game winners. James. She's in trouble. Finds James. Toss shot. It goes in. And everything in between. Before we let you go, do you want to say hi to anybody? Oh, oh, I don't know. It put me on the spot there. If you want to connect with our audience, visit us at patreon.com slash TSB television or sponsor our coverage through PayPal and Cash App. Thank you for watching. The starters have been introduced at our first visit to Prior Lake High School in the city of Savage. Mike Beating here, I'll bump myself talking to myself as we noted before. Prior Lake, one of their key non-conference games, they will go on the road to face another top 10 team next Thursday against Chaska. And as we noted before, their membership in the South Suburban Conference means they play a lot of top tier opponents. Eastridge facing the gamut. In terms of non-conference opponents, I can't think of a tougher start. Prior Lake, Champlin Park, Rosemount, Lakeville North, and Wyzetta before they move to Suburban East play. Mm -hmm. 
Eastridge will serve to start things off. The number three team. An undefeated season a year ago, playing suburban East schools. Did not drop a set. We're underway. And we will get names and numbers as we move along. Alex Lloyd, right idea, just a bit outside the mark. And so Eastridge will pick up the first point on a hitting error. Maria Chapman is serving for the Raptors. And the Raptors off to a quick 2-0 start. Fire Lake gets on the board. Taylor Hennon scoring off the block. Prior Lake with their first serve. This is Lydia Olson. And that point will go to Eastridge. And Michaela McDougal. The ball went out of play. And Mike Dean getting an explanation from the side judge. So the Raptors off to the quick start. Number three, and again, one of the top teams to keep an eye on. They're looking sharp so far. Macy Spolodoro on the play there for the Raptors. The big question for Eastridge, if they make it that far, can they get past Egan? The Wildcats have proven tough over the years. Prior Lake. They're just as tough as Julia Hansen, the future gopher, finds a kill down the middle. Sophie Gardner will serve a lot of seniors on this Prior Lake team. And that hitting attempt went into the net. Four three, as you know, best of five. We play up to 25, you gotta win by two. And 15 if we go to a fifth set. Line shot finds a spot for Hadley Berger. Nice hit by Prior Lake. Eastridge able to get the save on it, but the Lakers with the free ball. Julia Hansen, another fine hit. She's got some velocity. She'll try again. Off speed, Eastridge picks it up. Dig by the libero. One-handed teardrop. Raptors with a good chance. And finding the hole is Cameron Greenwald, the Montana State Commit. That was some excellent hitting on both sides. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's okay, folks. The line judge took a tumble. We don't want that. We need those line judges. Mike Dean has a laugh. 6-3, Eastridge over Prior Lake in set one. Courtney Haugen, the libero for the Lakers, and that is Julia Hansen. I've got a feeling we'll be calling her name a lot if Prior Lake is able to establish their hitting game. It's still early, though. A long way to go. And here's our first look at Kaya Harvey. As you know, with volleyball, when you see players come in and out, Kat Connell, another one, some of it has to do with substitutions compared to other sports.
Big block, but Eastridge picked up on it. And Greenwald would not be denied. And here's our first look at Brick Carlson. Perhaps the most recognizable name in East Ridge Volleyball. And she taps down the overpass for her first point. Carlson, a volleyball and basketball standout, plays club, finished her last club season with the top North Tartan team, the 17U EYBL. And I gotta give her props. A lot of athletes would focus on one sport at this stage. Britt Carlson decided to get all she could. And Greenwald with another line shot. She's finding the deep corner. And that's enough for Mike Dean to call a timeout. Eastridge with the first run. They lead 9-4 to four in the first set. Let's take a look at the schedule a little more closely. For the Raptors, they have non-conference games through mid-September, and then they pivot exclusively to Suburban East Conference competition. Prior Lake, Champlain Park, the Rebels not ranked, but historically, they're one of the stronger programs in 4A Volleyball. Rosemount, Lakeville North, we'll have that game for you if things don't get out of hand. And YZ up. So the Raptors taking on three of the top 10 teams in Class 4A in Prior Lake, Lakeville North, and Wyzetta. The Lakeville schools always in the discussion. Wyzetta won the most recent state championship in 2019 in the three-class era. As we noted, volleyball going to four classes now. Not much of a difference for the big schools like Prior Lake and Eastridge. Some of the smaller schools in their sections move down to 3A, but that's about it. And the Raptors a big favorite to win the Suburban East Conference. But Steve Anderson told me before the game, don't sleep on Woodbury. And don't sleep on Brick Carlson. 10 to four, and unofficially, I have Eastridge with eight kills. And what that tells you, a strong hitting percentage. Service error on the Raptors, and that will end the East Ridge run. But Michaela McDougall will shake it off, I presume. Let's see if Prior Lake can build a run here as the ball went into the hallway. Line judge went to go get it. That allowed Julia Hansen and Mike Dean a quick conference. Let's see what the future Golden Gopher can do on serve. A good serve. And tapping down the overpass with Sierra Washington. Here's a chance for Prior Lake to do some damage. Julia Hansen. The future Big Ten. Another good serve. Eastridge picked up on it. Hansen with the up, but too high. And an easy tap down, no! Reverse that. In the view of the officials, Cameron Greenwald may have crossed the center line. As you know in volleyball, you cannot go over the net, you cannot cross the center line in any capacity. So the Lakers get a break. And that keeps Hansen on serve. That was a big hit by Carlson and a big up by Hansen. Eastridge with a free ball. They go to the right. Greenwald is there. Greenwald with a strong performance here in the first set. Carlson and Hansen, that is going to be a matchup to watch. Washington, not much there. Raptors, they go to Carlson, and she crosses up Prior Lake. Carlson with the third kill. Not in the starting rotation for this game, but that isn't an indictment of her abilities. That is a testament to the depth that Eastridge has 
one reason they've been a top 10 team for years. Double contact call on Prior Lake. That will give the Raptors a point. They lead 13-7 in set one. Hansen from the back row, yes. Hansen with the third kill unofficially. Prior Lake. Getting some production out of the Minnesota recruit. But Eastridge getting a little more balance in terms of offense. And a good serve by the libero, Courtney Haugen. Eastridge had nowhere to go. Haugen again. And a nice move and good recognition on the part of Kelby Oplin. Oplin saw a big opening in the back corner and not much Prior Lake could do in that sequence. Raptors lead by five. Off speed, Eastridge picks it up. Carlson, went off speed there. Here comes Prior Lake. Kaya Harvey left that one a little short. It's been a while since we covered volleyball, at least in this capacity, but timing so important. And you have a split second. Eastridge dumbfounded here by Hansen. Hansen going through the middle for that kill. She has four and officially in the first set. The difference though is the balance in production. Eastridge getting a lot of support. Greenwald and Carlson leading the way. Prior Lake, most of the offense has centered on Hansen. Hansen with a big up. Eastridge left it short, but the ball's still in play. It's going right to Hadley Berger. Maria Chapman back to serve. Chapman heading to St. Thomas next year. As you know, the Tommies now a Division I school and Steve Anderson, a St. Thomas graduate. Happy to see them make the transition. Chapman serves that one too strong. And here's Lydia Olson back to serve for Prior Lake. When she's not playing volleyball, she raises chickens. That serve receive went into the ceiling and at most high schools, we talked about this yesterday in the Benilde St. Margaret Southwest Christian game. Julia Hansen once again rotating up front and cashing in on that awkward serve receive. When the ball gets into the ceiling at most high schools, it creates what I call the Plinko effect. You have no idea where that ball's gonna go. And you just hope it doesn't land in the zero slot. Hansen had to backpedal a bit, but it doesn't matter, she gets the point anyway. As nobody was there, to haul in the dig from Eastridge. Hansen, proving her medal in the first set. We've got a three point margin. Courtney Haugen with a big up there. Off speed, big save by Prior Lake. Another off speed attack by the Raptors. They get a free ball. Hansen with the block, denying Hadley Berger. Julia Hansen is lighting up. Two point margin now, another block. 
That time, I believe Sophie Gardner got a piece of it. And that will be enough for Steve Anderson to call a timeout. 16-15, so Pryor Lake riding the coattails of Julia Hansen, the Minnesota recruit, and getting some help from Sophie Gardner on that last play. A bevy of Division I prospects. Julia Hansen, the only one who has decided on a college. Mike Dean said the rest of the seniors are still considering their options, and that's what's the beauty when it comes to college commitments. It's not a race. Yes, it's nice to get it out of the way early, but if you need to take a little bit of time, find the venue that works for you, that's fine too. So we resume play here. A tantalizing first set. Eastridge got the early advantage, and it looked like they were going to set the tone, but Julia Hansen giving the Raptors fits. And the Raptors make a good read. Lydia Olsen served just a little wide. Not a lot of errors in terms of hitting from either side. Contact at the net. That will give the point to Prior Lake. As you know, you cannot touch the net and you cannot touch the antenna. Both teams with one timeout left in the first set. Here comes Hansen with the wind up. Goodbye. Spolodoro had no chance. We're tied at 17. A lucky break for number eight, Sophie Gardner. As Darrell Waltrip once said, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. You can get those breaks in your favor. You'll take it. And I believe someone on Prior Lake may have crossed the center line, so their lead is relinquished, at least for the moment. We're tied at 18. But what an impressive first set. We're seeing plenty of skilled athleticism on display. Here comes Hansen again. Hansen is in the groove. And I don't think anything's gonna stop her. Well, we saw what she could do in the back row when she's serving. She's even more potent up front. Eastridge did not drop a set last year. They're in danger of losing the first set of the 2021 season. This is Kat Connell. She makes a good serve. Kat Connell, the lone freshman to make varsity. She extends the Prior Lake lead. And Eastridge stymied here by the service game. Connell unofficially with back-to-back -back aces. Prior Lake now leads 21-18. Eastridge will use the last of their two timeouts in the first set. The Raptors, they were up by five, but the pendulum has swung in Prior Lake's direction. Julia Hansen leading the way, but Prior Lake getting some welcome contributions from the lone freshman, Kat Connell, the ninth grade setter and defensive specialist. What a way to kick off the 2021 volleyball season. We had a great game yesterday with Benel St. Margaret's and Southwest Christian. Got to see a couple of the smaller schools in action. And we get to see the return of the Friday Night Lights. That's what Steve Anderson built it, and Mike Dean as well. The Friday Night Lights Volleyball Edition. Football doesn't start until next week, so this is the lone Friday on the schedule where Prior Lake and Eastridge can have a volleyball game. And what a run. Connell serves that one a little too strong. 
the biggest difference that I'm seeing so far compared to the game yesterday, fewer errors. We're seeing crisp, clean, hitting, passing, all of it. Fewer hitting errors on both sides, and that makes for some great highlights. And spectacular plays. Eastridge scores. Carlson back in the rotation. They've scored two in a row now. And a service error on the Raptors. That has been the biggest issue for both sides, the service game. Unofficially, three service errors for Eastridge, two for Prior Lake. Now Hansen serving. Carlson. Hansen with the up. Ball bounces off the ceiling. Prior Lake reads it, but the Raptors will get a free ball. They set it up for Carlson. Did not clear the net. And the Lakers are two points away from clinching the first set after they trailed significantly. Hansen, a big reason for that. An ace! Prior Lake with four set points. Julia Hansen, a tremendous first set performance. Eastridge able to get on the attack. Don't count them out until one of these teams clinches. Anything can happen. Twenty-four, twenty-one. Fire Lake still has three points to work with. Officials rule no deflection, much to the dismay of Kaya Harvey. And Mike Dean will use his last timeout in the first set. They don't carry over, and I don't blame him for taking a timeout, settle the team down a little bit. Like we're saying, though, you never know what can happen. These are two teams that were ranked in the top 10 in preseason play, or in the preseason. There are no preseason games at the high school level. And I have just been photographed by Bonnie. <laughs> Give me a little more warning next time. I always love to salute the fans. <laughs> a quick conference for the Lakers. And again, probably a wise time out on the part of Mike Dean. A couple of hitting errors. Kaya Harvey looked a little out of sorts on that last play. So call a timeout, bring the troops in, have them refocus but the pendulum can swing on a dime with these two. And the depth of high-level athletes on both sides. Prior Lake still with two set points. I believe that ball hit the antenna. Sierra Washington just a little off the mark. And now if you're Prior Lake, you gotta be careful if Eastridge scores here. It's a brand new set. Carlson, off speed, finds the hole. The Raptors score four in a row, facing set point. And a reminder, you have to win by two. Hansen. With the off-speed tap, Carlson from the left side. Off-speed again, the teardrop paying big dividends for the big-time hitter. And I mean big-time, six foot five is her listed height. Eastridge was set point. Barlake scores off the block. And we'll do this again. Alex Lloyd on the play. Courtney Haugen to serve for Prior Lake. We're tied at 25, and again, you have to win by two. Prior Lake 
Gets on top of Carlson that time. Carlson with the up. Kaya Harvey hit that one a little too strong. Oh my goodness. I'm getting butterflies and I can only imagine the knots and nerves facing these athletes in the first game of the season. Eastridge with their second set point. Hansen from the back row. Eastridge scores! Hadley Berger makes it a double with all the fixings. And the Raptors fight off. Four set points to win 27-25 in the first set. What a comeback run by Eastridge, but if this first set is an indication, this is going to be an entertaining battle. I'm not going to anoint anyone the winner just yet. We'll take a break and bring you set number two in a moment. When the high school season is over, TSB Television goes on the highlight trail. Our highlight reels provide you with a valuable resource for recruiters and a keepsake of your favorite athlete. To learn more about our highlight reel services, contact us at tsbtelevision at gmail.com. Set number two about to commence between Prior Lake and Eastridge, and as you saw yesterday, the teams do not change sides. One of the carryovers from last year's pandemic protocols. Unofficially, no aces for the Raptors. Prior Lake had four. Not many errors between the two teams. As far as hitting is concerned, three for Eastridge, four for Prior Lake. The difference kills. Prior Lake, unofficially, Julia Hansen with eight. The rest of the team had just three. Rick Carlson led the Raptors with six, but early on you saw a lot of play from Cameron Greenwald, Hadley Berger making a few plays, including the game winner in the first set, or I should say set winner. You know what I'm talking about. But Eastridge getting a lot of production. Prior Lake though, they fought off an early deficit and had four set points, so don't count them out. Carlson bringing the heat. Do not mess with Carlson. If you followed our volleyball coverage a couple years ago, we didn't get to see Britt Carlson play. She was dealing with an injury back then, but Eastridge still performing well. They beat Woodbury in that game of undefeated Suburban East Conference teams. Hadley Berger picks up another one for the Raptors. But now we see how ferocious Eastridge is with one of their top players in the rotation. A hitting error will be charged to Alex Lloyd and you saw this. Lloyd had to make a last minute adjustment when she sent it over and you saw she stumbled a bit and that might have affected her trajectory. Prior Lake ready, and they score the point. And give credit to the Lakers. They were ready for that tap down, and they get the point out of it. And both of these teams know, with the level of competition they see, a lot can happen in an untimed sport. We've seen Eastridge go to the off-speed hit a few times, and it pays off for the Raptors, even though it won't result in a kill unofficially for Michaela McDougall. Mm -hmm. 
We've seen the Raptors mix it up. But Prior Lake, just as efficient. Raptors throw down the block. I believe their first of the game. They have an early 5-1 lead, but as we saw in the first set, that can change in a hurry. So don't count Prior Lake out just yet. Especially when you have that wall up front of Hansen and Gardner. Gardner will go back to serve for the Lakers. A hard line shot for Michaela McDougal, and it lands for a point. 6-2. This is Emma Stamm. Hasn't decided what she will do after high school, but she's got some time to think about it. Julia Hansen. Knew where she wanted to go, just put a little too much mustard on it. That is her first hitting error of the game. And the Raptors take a 7-2 lead. But the beauty of volleyball and rally scoring, as Taylor Hennon just demonstrated, with untimed sports and a point on every play, you can make up for a mistake on the very next try. Prior Lake does that, and it's seven to three. If you just joined us, they had four set points in the first set. East Ridge went on a run and eventually closed out with a set one win. Raptors hoping to even this Friday night volleyball light series. Friar Lake hoping to get a statement win to open the season, and Julia Hansen left a little off that one, and it worked out. Eastridge could not respond in time, and Hansen picks up her first kill of the second set. We've been calling number seven's name a lot. Eastridge scores off the block. That is Cameron Greenwald. And here comes Brick Carlson. The fortunes of Eastridge tilted in their favor when she came in after the Raptors were trailing 24-20. Kaya Harvey misfires. Harvey's struggling a little bit. And Hansen couldn't quite catch up to it in time. And Prior Lake will call a timeout. Not a bad time for one here. A couple of hitting errors on the part of Prior Lake. Again, time to refocus. And as we said, there's a long way to go when you play a best of five series. Looking ahead at the Prior Lake schedule, we mentioned their membership in the South Suburban Conference means lots of high quality competition. Lakeville North, they'll play them on October 19th. Lakeville South, September 16th. They take on Shakopee October 12th and Egan September 23rd. The Lakers will host the Wildcats. Some other non-conference games of note Minnetonka, September 20th. The Skippers reached the semifinal round in the most recent state tournament in 2019. And Northfield, Monday, October 4th. The Northfield Raiders, the number nine team in the preseason poll. Here comes Hansen. And that timeout was just the intervention she needed as she scores on the line shot down the left side after a couple of hitting errors early. 
Anson will go back to serve. And as we saw in the first set, Hansen can go on a run very quickly. Cameron Greenwald continuing her fine hitting. Greenwald and Carlson have provided a tag team effort on the offensive side for Eastridge. Jump ball, and it's won by Prior Lake and Sierra Washington. We know this Lakers team can mount a rally. Let's see what they do with Haugen serving. Carlson, Haugen with the up. That ball almost went into the ceiling, and it will go to Eastridge. Rick Carlson didn't hear the whistle and played the point. But won't need to throw it down there. Eastridge got the point. And I believe Carlson got the block there. So the Raptors lead 13 to six and hold control in the second set. Prior Lake with a little off speed touch that time. Net ball, one by Eastridge. And they have an eight point lead in set two. Now seven following the service error by Macy Spilodoro. Eleanor Crimmins, by the way, the libero for Eastridge. We haven't called her name a lot. Hasn't seen a lot of action. Carlson with the teardrop, you bet. She'll rotate out. But she did her duty on that rotation, on that shift for the Raptors. Perhaps a chance for Prior Lake though, as we noticed before, at least in that first set, when Carlson wasn't on the floor, Prior Lake was able to make a run. Service error on Maria Chapman on that last play. Gives the ball back to Prior Lake. Lydia Olson. Hansen with the dig. Prior Lake can't do much with it. He's reached with another quality chance here. McDougal denied. She'll try again. The up by Ella Justing. Hansen. Eastridge, I believe, touched the net, so Prior Lake will get the point. Unfortunate, even though Eleanor Crimmins was able to get the stop. Unfortunate for Eastridge, they couldn't close out that play. And that ball was not touched, so that will be a hitting error charged to Addison Mattis. This is what we discussed, though. Prior Lake able to make a run when Carlson is on the bench. And again, that has more to do with rotation than talent. Here comes Hansen. Henson cuts her way to another point, and the Lakers have scored four in a row. That line judge has taken a couple of tumbles. 
I hope he gets a bonus in his pay. He, he's put his limb, he's put his life and limb on the line in this game. Someone give him a pay raise. That's all I got to say. Double contact call on Eastridge, and that is five straight points for Prior Lake. The Raptors holding on to the timeouts for now. And this has all come with Lydia Olsen serving for Prior Lake. Michaela McDougal with the one-handed hit. She found the back corner and stops the Prior Lake run for now. That was a badly needed point by Eastridge in terms of momentum. Crimmins serving, Raptors still lead by four. But here comes Hansen. Hansen with her fourth kill unofficially in the second set. She is racking them up. Boy, is she fun to watch. East Rich goes down the middle and Cameron Greenwald finds the spot. Back and forth. This set goes, but the Raptors still lead by four. Prior Lake has a little more work to do. Emma Stam serving for the Raptors. Hansen got a friendly bounce off the net. Seventeen fourteen. Here is Cat Connell. Cat had a couple of aces near the end of the first set that almost put Prior Lake over the top. Crimmins plays it. Prior Lake with a free ball. Hansen has to hit from deep. Not the play I think they wanted to set up and that will be a hitting error on Hansen. Tough break for the Lakers. And Eastridge serves with the four point lead. Liddy Olsen a little too strong. Mike Dean calls another timeout. Back-to-back -back errors on the part of Prior Lake. Probably a good time to use it. Get this squad refocused because we've seen what they can do when they're feeling it, when they're in sync. And we saw after that first timeout, they were able to get their act together. But Mike and anyone would tell you, this is how you learn about yourselves. And Prior Lake, they're in a tough section. They stay in section two with the expansion to four classes. So their group went down to seven schools, but you still got to deal with the likes of Chaska and Shakopee and Minnetonka and Eden Prairie is sleeper in that group. So the road to state does not get any easier for Prior Lake. For Eastridge, virtually nothing changed as far as the teams in their section. As we said, with 4A, their sections just got a little bit smaller, but Steve Anderson noted the oddity that the Raptors are in section three for volleyball, but in other sports with four classes like basketball, they're in section four. I don't make up the classifications, I just, Follow along as best I can. We're back to action, and Hansen with the teardrop. And Julia Hansen with a rare display of off-speed brilliance. She goes back to serve, and as we saw before, the last time Prior Lake called a timeout, they were able to get a score in that next play. Eastridge with a quality chance here. And another point for Brick Carlson. 
as Courtney Haugen wasn't able to control the up. And that's not a knock on Courtney Haugen. Anytime you have to stop Britt Carlson, that is a tough assignment. Hansen from the back row. They set up for Carlson again on the left side, too strong. And that is Carlson's first hitting error unofficially of this game. Haugen to serve. Prior Lake catches a break. A near collision, play at the net. And I believe one of the Prior Lake players, okay, it was a lift. I thought someone might have crossed the line, but a lift was called. A chaotic sequence there, and it works in East Ridge's favor. They lead 21-16, Prior Lake out of timeouts. We have a quick conference with Julia Hansen and Macy Spolidoro. Macy going back to serve. Macy and Hadley, the younger sisters of Audrey and Avery, respectively. Well, Steve is noting the youth movement and the family connections that he has built at Eastridge in the time that he has been head coach. He came over from North St. Paul. As we noted before, a St. Thomas graduate. He and fellow coach Stephanie Blanda, college classmates at St. Thomas. Good save by Prior Lake. Eastridge will go to the right side. And the Lakers again, bringing the defense. The Lakers staying with the Raptors here. Could this pay off? Harvey attacks the right side. Lakers will get another try. Double contact call. It's tough to tell from the naked eye, but I think what might have happened Alex Lloyd as she made a running charge toward the ball. May have made a couple of hits with it. Raptors closing in on a set two win, but they can't set up the attack they were looking for. And that allows Harvey to pounce, and if there was anyone who needed a positive play, it was Harvey. She struggled a little bit on the hitting game, and unofficially, that is her first kill. Kyle Harvey will rotate to the bench, but if there was anyone who needed a positive play, Kaya Harvey, the junior right side hitter, was due. And she gives Prior Lake a point. And Britt Carlson catches a break, was going into a wind up motion and had to stop in her tracks momentarily. Didn't get the velocity she wanted, but Prior Lake not able to string a sequence together. And Britt Carlson will take it. She goes back to the bench. He's reached two points away. Julia Hansen misfires, and the Raptors with seven set points. Good serve by Eastridge. They go to the right side, and Berger with the finish. How about a double? A double cheeseburger for Hadley Berger, and with that, I'll show myself out. But the Raptors hold a two sets to zero advantage over Prior Lake, winning the second set 25-17. Raptors getting a lot of production out of Britt Carlson and Hadley Berger making some nice plays as well. The biggest difference though, hitting percentage. We'll talk a little more about that when we return for set number three. When the high school season is over, TSB Television goes on the highlight trail. Our highlight reels provide you with a valuable resource for recruiters and a keepsake of your favorite athlete. To learn more about our highlight reel services, 
contact us at tsbtelevision at gmail.com. Set number three about to start. Eastridge with a two sets to none lead over Prior Lake. Hitting percentage, a big difference in the second set. Skewing favorably for Eastridge. Unofficially, I had Prior Lake with eight hitting errors. Eastridge with just one. No aces for the Lakers. So when you factor all those points, you concede through hitting errors. An eight point margin, those hitting errors made the difference. So Prior Lake, I imagine, will look to clean up that element of the hitting game. When they're on, we've seen them fight and fight valiantly. So let's not give the win to Eastridge just yet. Because you gotta win three sets and we've seen this Prior Lake team at their best and when they are in sync, they are capable. So, long way to go. Eastridge cannot wrap up the win yet. They've gotta win one more and Prior Lake is not going to make it easy. Especially if Julia Hansen can find her groove. She had unofficially four hitting errors and six kills in the second set. But if she finds her rhythm in the third set, who knows what can happen. Misfire there on Prior Lake. Not the way they wanted to start the third set. And that will be an ace. We haven't seen a lot of that. In fact, unofficially, that is the first ace for the Raptors. And Macy Spilladoro, the sophomore setter. And she hits that one into the net. Unofficially, the Raptors now have six service errors. The Lakers have just two. Rick Carlson playing in the back row there. And that's another point in favor of Eastridge. The number three team in the state, Egan, one spot ahead of them in the preseason rankings. The two teams will not play each other in regular season play. They might run into each other with the Saturday Invitational tournaments. Egan, of course, benefits from their conference affiliation. Julia Hansen sending another benefit to Prior Lake through her outstanding hitting skills. Eastridge stacking their non-conference schedule. The Suburban East, not one of the stronger conferences, at least not last year. Double contact call on the Raptors and we're tied at three. The Raptors did not drop a set in conference play a year ago. They've won the Suburban East for the last two years. Hansen had to catch up to it. Raptors get a free ball. Prior late trying to jam Eastridge. Here comes Hansen in her windup motion. And as Truman Burbank would say, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. If Hansen gets into the wind-up motion, look out. Julia Hansen. Opening the third set in fine form. Raptors pick up a point. No, Prior Lake did. And Spoladoro getting an explanation. Didn't quite see what happened and admittedly, I'm still learning some of the less common signals when it comes to volleyball. But as they say, it's all about reps. The more you do, the easier it comes to you. And the only way to get better is to put yourself in the fire. That's what I'm doing and I can't think of a better fire than two top 10 teams in class 4A who are burning bright and have been doing so all game. That first set was a fantastic battle of athleticism. 
Prior Lake holding the 5-4 lead. Greenwald blocks. When Hansen's up in the front row, she forms a good blocking wall with her partners up front. It's not just the arm of Hansen that makes her so lethal as a hitter. She brings several other intangibles as we've seen in this game. Fire Lake gets a friendly bounce off the net on that serve. And that will go to Prior Lake. Or it should say Eastridge. Still a tight one here in the third set. From the back row, it's Michaela McDougal. Side judge telling some of the Prior Lake fans to uh, move up a row, and that has everything to do with safety in case a player has to go into the bleachers or close to it to try to retrieve a ball. With volleyball, we do our best to respect the space and surroundings of the athletes because the players in the ball, as Julia Hansen just demonstrated, they are flying around. You don't know where they'll end up compared to basketball where <laughs> the field of play is a little more contained. Hansen has opened the third set unofficially with three straight kills. Three kills without an error at least. And I jinxed her. Julia Hansen, I send you my apologies. That ties the score at seven. Carlson back in the rotation. And it doesn't take long for her to assert her might. Impose her will, whatever phrase you wish to use. Brick Carlson is all that and then some. Double contact call on Prior Lake. And the Raptors lead 9-7. Prior Lake answers with a hit up the middle. Sierra Washington scores. Washington has chipped in a few kills in this one. And we talked about the non-conference games and Prior Lake being in the South Suburban, all the Great matchups awaiting these two teams. This game holds some sway too. That will be a hitting error on Carlson. Just the fifth unofficially for the Raptors. But this game is important too because should either of these two teams, Service Air and Haugen, if either of these two teams or both make it to state, they're both in tough sections. Eastridge has to deal with Egan. Prior Lake has to deal with Chaska, Minnetonka, Shakopee. But a game like this, whoever wins could hold some leverage. Should either of these two get to the state tournament because the coaches seed the field. Hansen, full velocity. 
And Hansen with a much better showing so far in set three compared to set two. And that is one reason Prior Lake has hung with Eastridge in this third set. But as we saw in the first set, they're a resilient, gritty group. So if they can make a fight of it, they will. Rick Carlson jams the Lakers once more. Carlson unofficially with 11 kills. Hansen has 18 by my count. Alex Lloyd makes a charging hit. Britt Carlson is flat out dangerous from the left side. And the Raptors hold a 12-10 lead. Hansen fires. Carlson can't stop her. Julia Hansen piling on the points here in the first game of the 2021 season. Eastridge couldn't find themselves, couldn't get in rhythm at that time. Carlson's dig was a little too strong for Spolodoro to corral and Prior Lake picks up a point. Here's Liz Coleman. Coleman's serve is wide and Eastridge takes the lead again 13-12 but a lot can happen. And one of these two go on a run. And Michaela McDougal taps down the overpass. We've seen a lot of neck and neck play in this third set. Whoever goes on a run will hold a considerable advantage. And I know I'm preaching to the choir, but given the flow of this third set, whoever gets on a run first will be in prime position. And contact at the net, that will give the point to the Raptors. And now they're getting some separation. They lead 15-12. I wouldn't be surprised if Eastridge scores again. I wouldn't be surprised if Parley calls a timeout soon. We've had to wipe up a lot of moisture on the court here in Prior Lake, located in the city of Savage. That will be a point for Britta Lund, her first, and Bonnie was telling me they are named the Lakers. Well, they're not the only team with that nickname. Minneapolis Southwest also named the Lakers. There's also that team in Los Angeles. Service error on Sophie Gardner. And Eastridge gives the point back on the service error from Eleanor Crimmins. That is one element both of these teams, I think, will try to refine over the next several games and practices. A lot of teams will start up their season tomorrow with the Side Out Classic hosted by the Breakdown. Washington saw a huge opening in the back row and tapped it home. That was set up by Hansen's attack earlier. And it's a one point margin again.
A lot of Hansen with a dash of Washington. That would sum up the offense for Prior Lake in the third set. Harvey. Still having trouble with their location. McDougal with a big dig against Hansen. But Eastridge could not clear the net. Washington was ready for it. And the Lakers catch another break. Here is Hansen. Eastridge scores off the block. And now it's McDougal who will serve for the Raptors. Harvey finds the spot that time. Got it. In that little space, that sandwich between the Eastridge wall and the net. And for someone like Harvey, who has struggled a bit in this game, positive plays. Haugen's dig nearly went into the ceiling. Carlson will try again from the left side, and she's blocked! Gardner and Harvey were there. I think it was Gardner who made the rejection, but that is a big stop against the athletic wonder that is Brick Carlson. Of course, Prior Lake has a few of those too, as we've seen in this game. Carlson will try again. This time goes off speed, and Alex Lloyd couldn't catch up to it in time. You can't keep Carlson down for long when she's out on the floor. And as we saw, she doesn't even start. Doesn't need to though. Harvey with a good hit, has another chance. Point for Eastridge. I think Prior Lake may have hit the net that time. Tough break for Harvey. She had a great position, great windup. And Hanson will get an explanation from the head official. Tough break for Harvey. Prior Lake using the first of their two timeouts. In the third set, one more for Eastridge, and it's a straight set win, but Prior Lake still within striking distance. If you're watching us on YouTube or on local television, wherever you are. We've got plenty more fall sports coming your way as TSB Television makes its return to sports coverage after a limited schedule last school year. Limited due to safety precautions and all of that. Now we are prepared to pivot and I think coaches would say the same thing, but we've got Eastview Holy Angels Volleyball next week and Lakeville North Stillwater Girls Soccer, a matchup of top 10 teams. Soccer expanding to three classes this year. And if everything holds steady, we'll see this Eastridge team again September 8th when they host Lakeville North in another battle of top 10 teams in class 4A. So that is just a taste of what's to come on the TSB Television YouTube channel and wherever you may be watching in local cable. And Prior Lake gets a point because of a rotation violation? Now the score reads 19-19. I am not sure what happened here. Or did they overrule the last play?
I have never seen that before. So the score is 19-19. Prior Lake scoring off of a rotation error. Apparently, I, well, well we gotta sort this out here. The officials are going to, I've never seen this happen. Well, whoever's watching this, I know there's some volleyball aficionados out there. They can perhaps explain it to me on YouTube or maybe one of the coaches will watch this and get me up to speed. Maybe a Steph Land is seeing this. I know she fills me in on details. So 19-19 is the score. That is a big swing. No matter how you slice it, and we will play with that figure. And Prior Lake will take the lead off the hit by Hansen from the back row, which means they take the lead, 2019. Carlson out on the floor for Eastridge though, so keep an eye on that. The first weekend of the year, and we've seen some crazy things develop. Carlson, big hit. She'll get another shot. Fire Lake answering the call a couple of times. One more time for Carlson. And Ella Josting couldn't find a teammate there. We're tied at 20. It was 2018 in favor of Eastridge, but 1919 following a rotation violation. And Eastridge comes up clutch in the service game. And Macy Spolodoro, unofficially her second ace of the game. And those are all the aces that have come from Eastridge. They lead 21 20. Lloyd. That did not touch an Eastridge player. It went off the net and out of bounds. Prior Lake will call a timeout. 22-20. Unless something else strange happens. Just when you think you've seen everything, folks, something new comes along. As we were saying though, a lot to look forward to on the TSB television schedule if you watch on YouTube or on local television. And we certainly want to thank Prior Lake for their hospitality in bringing us here. They entered a live stream arrangement with Logan Anderson, who hosts the Save the Damn Score podcast that brings in sports announcers from around the country. If you want to check that out, Logan Anderson involved with Prior Lake, Lakeville North and Shakopee. So gives them a lot on the calendar. We return to action here, 22-20. Eastridge three points away from a straight set victory. Both teams with one timeout left. Greenwald, we haven't called her name in a while, but she finds a point attacking from the right side. And the Raptors now two away from a straight set win. Spolodoro with the off-speed serve. Mike Dean will use the second and final timeout for Prior Lake, Macy Spolodoro. She's chipped in a few points from the hitting game. Three kills, three aces. And her most recent ace gives Eastridge four match points. Looking ahead, if things hold serve, and we have no idea what the next five minutes will bring, but we'll be seeing this Eastridge team a few times. That Lakeville North game, a big one, September 8th. Wyzetta, we hope to bring you that one as well on September 14th. September 16th, they start Suburban East Conference play. Again, they are the favorites to win. Prior Lake, we'll see. Don't sleep on this group. They've got Julia Hansen, and they have a lot of tough competition coming their way, so they will get a lot of reps to tune up their performance. And they're not done yet. Britta Lund 
with the teardrop. Prior Lake will have plenty of opportunities. Being in the South Suburban helps. You get to face a lot of top competition, and that only makes you stronger and wiser when it comes to postseason play. That will be an ace. Crimmins' serve receive went into the ceiling, and as we noted before, when the ball gets up there, it can make some weird ricochets. Eastridge wasn't ready for that one, and Prior Lake scoring two points in a row. Back-to-back -back aces for Liz Coleman. Coleman hadn't served an ace at all until those last two points, and Prior Lake makes it a one-point margin. Eastridge using their last time out of the third set. Like we told you, this Prior Lake team don't count them out no matter what the score is. They have fought off four match points. They still need to get at least two more to extend this game to a fourth set, but they're showing their resilience once more. Liz Coleman, the sophomore outside hitter, coming up big here in these last couple of points. That first one got a helpful break from the ceiling, but Sometimes it comes down to who catches more breaks. In Jeopardy, they talk about the daily doubles you don't find. In volleyball, it's the serves that bounce in your favor. Coleman with another tough one. Eastridge responds this time, but Prior Lake will get a free ball. And Hansen winds up, blocked! That's it! Greenwald! Throws down the block. She had a fine performance tonight. So did Brick Carlson. You got to give Prior Lake props. They made a fight of it. They had a chance to close out with the first set. Eastridge responded with a rally. Prior Lake made it interesting here in the third set. Came up just a little bit short. But it's Eastridge who takes this chapter of the Friday Night Lights volleyball rivalry. What a game. I think there's a lot to be excited about with both of these teams. But it's Eastridge who comes up with the win in straight sets, 27-25, 25-17, 25-23. Prior Lake, all the props in the world, Julia Hansen and the rest of the Lakers, they've got a bright future in this season. And they're going to learn a lot of lessons they can use as they continue non-conference play and then take on those South Suburban Foles. We'll try to get a word with a couple of the Eastridge players before we wrap things up. This is High School Girls Volleyball. The Raptors beat the Lakers in straight sets. Twin City Sports Broadcasting and a whole lot more. That's what you get from TSB Television. We provide long-lasting digital coverage of your favorite athletes from the preps to the pros. Dazzling moves. Holloman, good if it goes. Yes! Game winners. James. She's in trouble. Finds James. Tough shot. It goes in. And everything in between. Before we let you go, do you want to say hi to anybody? Oh, oh, I don't know. It put me on the spot there. If you want to connect with our audience, visit us at patreon.com slash TSB television or sponsor our coverage through PayPal and Cash App. Thank you for watching. Joining me are a pair of Division I commits from the Eastridge Raptors, Britt Carlson and Cameron Greenwald. Britt, we'll start with you. You led the team in kills unofficially. You don't start, at least not in this game, but when you come in, you make your presence felt right away. You're really ferocious on the left side. What would you make of your hitting performance tonight? Um, I thought it was really good. First game of the season, I think I came out well, and I, I stayed aggressive the whole time. I didn't get timid. And then when I saw they started picking stuff up, I was mixing it up, throwing in tips. So, yeah, I'm happy with it. And your hitting skills came in in a big way in the first set when the Raptors were trailing by four, facing four set points. You rotated back in, helped Eastridge claw a set one win. How crucial was that for momentum? Yeah, I think it was great just to have like senior leadership on the court and the younger girls really like took after me and kept the energy going for everyone. So I think my leadership was good, but everyone followed suit. So it was a team effort. Now, a lot of athletes would focus on the sport they play in college, but you decided to ride it out in both club volleyball and basketball. I know you play for the top North Tartan team in basketball and 
you keep a busy schedule. So uh, how does that multi-sport involvement, how do you think that will help you as you kick off your senior season as an East Ridge athlete? Um, I think it really helped me like schedule things out. I had to make sure I had my schedule. I had to make sure I had time for homework. And then it kept me in really good shape because I was, you know, going through two sports at one time. But it was a lot of fun just seeing the differences of both sports and then being able to be involved in like the community. So then it brings the fans from basketball to volleyball and then vice versa. Cameron, you were an exceptional hitter as well. And you closed things out with a big block against Julia Hansen. Not an easy assignment going up against a future gopher. How tough is it to go against someone like that? And how do you think Eastridge was able to come out of here with the win? Um, I think we've really been practicing like to block the big hitters, especially Julia Hansen, because she is such a strong player overall. And I think we really just focused on like getting over, getting our timing right, and I think we executed it well. How nervous were you when you were up by four in the third set? Prior Lake scores three in a row. They get a couple of aces from Liz Coleman. And... You know, an untimed sport, anything can happen. How nervous were you, and how did you find a way to get that block? Um, I mean, I've done it before. Like, I've been doing this. So you were ready for this. Yeah, I've been doing this my whole life, you know. Just try to use the nerves to help me and, yeah, use the momentum. And for the two of you, last season, of course, canceled due to the pandemic, and you didn't get a chance to play schools like Prior Lake, so you couldn't take part in these rivalries. So to have an opportunity to have a normal season, to start things off with that Friday Night Lights rivalry that the coaches describe, after what happened last year, how do you think a game like this and just what lies ahead this season, how will that motivate the two of you? I mean, it feels great. We get to play, like Julia was on our club team, so it's great to have like that rivalry right there. But it's just fun. You get to see a lot more faces and you go up different types of hitter, di different types of defenses, blocks. It's just, and the fans, it's a great atmosphere because we didn't get fans last year so it's a lot more fun yeah I think so last year we did go undefeated in sets and we only played conference games and I think a lot of teams doubted kind of how good we really were as a team and I think now that we're able to play out of conference teams and we just swept one for our first game I think we kind of just proved ourselves from last season well thanks for reminding me that <laughs> your straight set streak is still intact it yep. wasn't easy so i guess a little more to play for right mm -hmm. yeah, definitely sure. totally that was great feeling yeah. <laughs> so that's the motivation this season they just want to sweep everybody yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably won't be that easy <laughs> i don't th well lakeville northwise that it won't make it easy but hey you never know right until someone beats you yeah. before we wrap things up you want to say hi to anybody hi to my family my mom and my sister and you know my parents are here but yeah yeah, hi to my sisters and my grandparents. <laughs> well, hello, sisters, grandparents, and all the fans who were able to return in person and those watching online, too. Britt Carlson, Cameron Greenwald, thanks for joining us. We hope we'll cross paths again later in the season, but that straight set uh, streak's still intact, so I guess you have something more to play for with your next game. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Britt Carlson and Cameron Greenwald are the victorious Eastridge Raptors, and that wraps up our coverage here from Prior Lake High School in Savage. For the rest of our crew, I'm Mike Beaton. Thanks for watching.